Hey guys, Matt Peters here, Greater Than 40 Fitness. It is Sunday, January 25th, 2015. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If y'all, any of you guys haven't seen my uh, any of my previous videos, what we're doing here is we're following a fitness journey. Um, I am 48 years old and I'm gonna enter my first uh, physique contest. I've come from being about 50 pounds overweight to uh, working out now for about a year and seven months in the gym. And before that, I did about three and a half to four months of uh, almost daily cardio to bring uh, my fat down about 40, 45 pounds. I'm running about 11 and a half percent um, body fat right now because we're in what we call a lean bulking stage. It's the winter time and so I'm trying to put on uh, muscle weight. Uh, my particular body, I, I lean out real well. I'm what they call a hard gainer. I have a kind of a hard time putting on muscle weight so that's what I'm trying to do right now. And I had an excellent workout today. Um, I'm really happy uh, with what happened in, in the gym today. Uh, we're not, this this goal in being a physique competitor is not about uh, lifting lots of heavy, heavy weights and being a power lifter, but it is nice to kind of know uh, some of your personal best and of course the, uh, the benchmark, no pun intended, for most uh, uh, people uh, on how strong they are is the bench press. I probably haven't done a personal best on the bench press since college, and to be honest, I don't even remember what it is. I did a weigh-in this morning, and I weighed 167.4 pounds. Um, so I'm gaining about a pound to a pound and a half a week, which is right on schedule. Um, I'm going to do that for eight more weeks, and then we're going to start the cutting phase. And uh, we're going to start leaning out real slow and get ready for the contest, uh, the MPC Physique Contest here in Dallas, Texas, which is in mid-August. Uh, but today, to get back to, to what happened in the gym today, guys, uh, I started out with um, just flat bar bench press, the standard bench press. Uh, if you guys watched my back uh, uh, chest workout, Last week, you noticed that I did dumbbells um, in my home gym. I love dumbbells. I do dumbbells more than I do barbell um, because I think it's a little bit better range of motion. I can concentrate on my um, mind-muscle connection a little bit better, and I think it's just a better workout. Well, it turns out that's been fairly true because it really paid off. Um, I was feeling really good on my flat bench today. I start out with 135, which is a rather, you know, light weight after I do a little bit of warm up. Uh, and, uh, boy, I just threw up eight, 10 real easy reps. So I put on some more weight and those went up real easy. And I said, you know, today, I guess I'm feeling great. Let's, let's see how high we can go. So I was doing two or three reps all the way up to 185, and I've never benched 185 in my life. I mean, that's 20 pounds more than I weigh, and if you can bench press your body weight, you're pretty close to probably being a one percenter in this country anyway. So um, I was real happy. I, I put up 185 real easy. I could have done it two or three times. So I added 10 more pounds to the bar, and you know, that was 195 and, and that was my sixth or seventh set. So I was like, well, what the heck? Let's let's go for that big uh, 200 pound uh, barrier. So I put on two, two and a half to make it an, ease, an even uh, 200 pounds. And I'll be darned if I didn't put it up one time. Um, I kind of slowed it down and got a little stuck in the middle, but I ended, it by, but I ended up pushing it all the way up which is uh, 35 pounds more than I weigh. So I was really stoked in the gym today. And that carried over through the rest of my workout. I was uh, doing incline press, barbell press with way more weight, 20 plus pounds more than uh, I usually do. And it just, it felt really good. And as you guys know, um, in the physique world, it has to be all natural. You cannot do any type of uh, of illegal sports enhancements because you will drug test before every contest and 
they won't let you enter the contest if you drug test. So this is all natural, guys. So I guess what I've learned from this is um, hard work pays off, number one. Um, and number two, I'm kind of contributing maybe a little bit of this strength gain to uh, some of the weight that I've been picking up. Um, this one and a half uh, pounds I've been gaining um, a week. You know, I'm not running down in the 8%, the 7% body fat, which gets you the nice uh, six pack and, and makes you look great when you take your shirt off. But when you get that lean um, and you're really that strict on your calories, I, I think, um, well, without a doubt, it's, it's going to weaken you a little bit. Now, I never did try for a personal best and bench press when I was, you know, at 160, 159 body weight. Um, I never did really feel all that strong. I was able to put the work in and do the sets I needed to do, but I, I never felt that, that strong. So I'm enjoying this bulking phase. Of course, when I take my shirt off, I'm down to a four pack now, but that's okay because it won't take long to, to get it off. And you know, if I can pick up three or four or five or however many pounds of, of uh, good solid lean muscle, over this next, you know, eight weeks of this bulking, this lean bulking phase that I'm, I'm trying to do, um, then that's fantastic. Um, so I, I'm glad you guys are along the journey with me. Now, 200 pounds of bench press, it may sound like a lot to some and it may sound like nothing to, uh, to others. And, and you know, it doesn't really matter what it sounds like. What it matters most is, is you, you need to compare yourself to yourself. You know, am I better today than I was yesterday? And for me today, I can say yes. Um, I don't want you guys to compare yourself to me or to somebody that's a lot farther along than I am. You need to compare yourself to yourself. And you need to make your personal gains and get a little bit better each day. Guys, if, if you're into the, to the physique and the health uh, lifestyle, let me tell you one thing right now. And a lot of people you'll hear uh, say this, um, I don't think it gets said enough, um, but this process is a lengthy process. I'm, I'm really kind of surprised that I'm not farther along than I am uh, after you know 19 months of doing this. Now I am real happy with where I am, but you read the magazines and you watch the YouTube channels and stuff and you see these guys that have been, or girls that have been in this, in this uh, lifestyle now for four, five, six, 10, 12, 15 years, or even more. And you know, you want to be where they are. Um, and I guess that's what kind of incites people to, uh, to, to maybe do sports enhancements, but we're gonna do it the clean way here, guys. And so you just have to be patient. Um, it's a it's day-to-day -day thing. And we all know that, that nothing worthwhile comes easy. Um, but you know, I'll be honest, in, in your mind you think, well, if you dedicate yourself to something for a year, a year and a half or more, you know, you should get where you, you, you wanna be. But, but that's really kind of unrealistic because if you think about Olympic athletes or you think about professional athletes, you know, nobody got where they are if, if they're, anywhere near the top or even in the game, you know, in the NFL, NBA, whatever, in a year, a year and a half. It, it's just not possible. So you have to put the whole thing in perspective. So, you know, after a year and a half of working in the gym and everything, you should be proud of, of what you did. You should be able to, to, to you know, get in some swim trunks or a, a, a bikini and, and, and be real proud and, and look a lot different, you know, than you did before, but that's really the, the main thing is, is you need to just compare yourself, you know, today as, as to where you were yesterday. And, and I think you'll be a lot, lot happier um, doing that. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, uh, last Sunday, I, I was listening to somebody that I really respect and they brought up a very interesting point that really intrigued me. And I've been thinking about this for a week now, and I've talked to a few people about this. Um, as far as your body is concerned, you know, this big controversy with American Sniper, um, the great new uh, Chris Kyle movie. If you haven't seen it, I suggest it. If you haven't read the book, I also suggest it. It's fantastic. Um, you know, a true American hero, just a guy that was there to, to help people. I, I can't say enough about him. He, he's an awesome guy. And I'm, 
I'm so um, bummed that, that, that he got taken early um, because I, I'm sure he would have done a, a lot more good. But, you know, he had a couple of these uh, celebrities come out and, and bash him. And, and, you know, a lot of these guys may not have even seen the movie. But what, strike, what struck me the most interesting was when Michael Moore came out and started um, bashing Chris Kyle and bashing the movie and, and, and everything. And, you know, you look at Michael Moore and you, you look at his body. And for me, you know, I don't like to call people names or to judge people. But the guy looks like a freaking sloth. I mean, you know, God bless him because his health has got to be in the toilet, right? What is he, 100 pounds overweight? He's got four different chins. He just looks terrible. He looks tired. You know, why he would spend his energy attacking a Navy SEAL, uh, who has passed away is beyond me, probably jealousy. But that brings me to the point of, of, of kind of what I was talking about, um, about listening to a, a someone who I really respect, who gave me some perspective on the human body that I've never thought of before. You know, it's interesting, guys. We did not purchase our bodies. We did not acquire our bodies. We did not earn our bodies, okay? Our body, whether you're a Christian person or a non-Christian person or whatever your beliefs are, your body was a gift, okay? So do you really truly own it? You know, these people that say, oh, it's my body, I'll do whatever I want. Now, is that, is it, think about that for a second. It's your body, but do you really own it? And, and what I think is, I think that the body is a carrier for the soul, okay? It's a house for the soul. And then when we pass, our soul goes to heaven or goes to hell or goes to purgatory. Now, that's the Christian view. Um, you may also feel that the body houses the soul and goes somewhere else, is reincarnated as a, as a, as a wolf or another human or, or what have you, and that's fine. Um, but, but I think most of us can agree that we're just not a lump of organism walking around for no purpose whatsoever other than the time that we're here on earth. At least, at least I hope so, because if not, what's the point of being here to begin with, right? So if the body houses the soul, okay, and the body was given to us, isn't it our responsibility to take good care of the temple that houses our soul? I mean, if, if we're putting poison, alcohol, terrible food, cigarettes, drugs, all of that into our body, isn't, isn't that akin to, to you know, letting a house run down that you don't even own? You know, maybe a house that you're, that, that you're renting and you put holes in the wall and you pull the dishwasher out and uh, you break the mirrors in the bathroom and, and uh, you let everything get run down and, and, and look horrible. I mean, isn't, isn't that kind of the same thing? So where I'm going with this is, guys, is let's use another thing to motivate us here. Let's, let's take responsibility for our bodies and let's take care of our bodies. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to develop it to be a, the next physique model on the cover of Muscle and Fitness, but to the other extreme, let's not be 75 pounds overweight, smoke two packs of cigarettes and drink a six pack of, of beer every day either. I think it's our responsibility to take better care of our bodies. So that's something to think about. That's, I, I think, a very interesting point. I never thought about our bodies um, that way before. Um, and so I just wanted to give you that, you put that out there for you guys and, and maybe stimulate a little bit of feedback. If you have some thoughts on that, please comment on the video. Um, please like the video if you like the video and please follow me and join my channel. So. Thank you for listening. Tomorrow we're going to do the uh, bicep tricep workout and we'll post that as soon as possible. And uh, thanks again. God bless.